Hey guys, um, so it's been about siguro mga two months since my last video, no? Um, I'm really sorry about that. Medyo naging busy lang talaga start of the year, right? Um, and well, first and foremost, I really want to thank all of the Velos viewers. Uh, I, I know a lot of you guys subscribed, um, but once again, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm at 894. So, konting konti na lang, like a little bit more than 100 subscribers, and I can finally start getting paid for making these videos. So, konting tulong lang, guys. No? So, the reason why I made this video is I wanted to sort of look at the consumption, the real consumption of our Velos, right? So, it doesn't matter what model you have, we all have the same engine. And I started this video sometime December 20 right um around that time kasi in between christmas and new year we went up to sagada all the way and then to atok and then all the way back to where i live in las piñas right and then after that i wanted to also look at the consumption coming from like long drives and then usually for me kasi yung typical driving ko is usually within the area lang of the Monte Parlas area and then maybe once or twice or thrice a week I would go to Makati, BGC or Ortigas, right? So mga further, right? Mga 20-30 kilometers once a week, right? So I'll get this started. Um, I, I do have like some videos um, that I'll show you and then I'll summarize this in the end. Okay guys, um, so I'm making this video just so at least I can show you the consumption for a long trip. So you can see right now my average is about 8.1 kilometers per hour uh, and our range is about 345. So we're going to Sagada and then here you can see that our first stop is about 238 kilometers away. Okay, um, so we've been driving for about five hours and we've arrived at our breakfast stop first um, here in LU okay um, so let's check now so you can see our average has increased from 8 kilometers per liter to 9.2 um, and it's my first time to turn up the car since then it's mostly been uh, highway driving um, and with some small traffic okay So I'll take a pause lang here now. So we actually arrived here um, for our breakfast. No? So as you saw, um, medyo gumanda yung mileage natin. Um, the, you know, there was some slight traffic, usual um, SCTX area near the toll. Um, but generally, there was almost no traffic. And after this, uh, we head over to Sagada. Okay, we're at our final stop. Um, we're here in Sagada already. That's about 150 kilometers or something. Um, it was predominantly all uphill. So, uh, you know, I was playing around with the power mode, the sport mode, and manual as well. No? So, uh, we, we did a full tank uh, before going up. So, let's check out the summary. There you go. So 10 kilometers per liter. So sobrang ganda nitong area na to, guys. Um, we were at the Heritage um, stay. So you actually live in this hut. Um, it's the typical hut that the Igorot stay in. There, no? A lot ng place may sariling campfire in yung banyo. Right? So this is the room inside um, that hut, right? Then, yan. So it's called Sagada Heritage Village. Napakaganda, guys. Napakaganda. No, parang yun yung entrance niya, no? Parang Lord of the Rings. Yan. So if you if you guys want to uh, call them, um, this is their number. So after Sagada, uh, we went to Atok. Yan. So you can see here, no? Um, mostly steep climbs, yan. Uh, so, however, the average still went up, right? from 8 kilometers to 9 kilometers. Kitang kita siya dyan.
So about a hundred kilometers again. Okay, so once we got here to Atok, you know, um, this obviously medyo materik na naman yung drive. Uh, once again, guys, if you want me to make a video about that drive going up, um, well, I can say, no, nakayanan naman ng velos, right? Uh, most of the time, medyo, there are some times medyo hirap siya, right? Um, but nakayanan naman, uh, we were about four people and then fully loaded yung likod, right? Um, from Atok, um, overnight lang kami and then we drove back na to Las Piñas. Five, um, uh, once we arrive to the house already. Um, so, you can see here, uh, medyo tumaas na naman yung average natin to about 10.3 kilometers. Right? And then, yan, about 330 kilometer drive, 8 hour drive. Right? Uh, Nag-stop lang kami for a while. Okay, guys, as you can see here, sagat talaga ang range ko, no? Um, that means super, ano, super sagat yung gas ko, no? I just started getting gas right now, no? But I wanted to show you here, um, tingnan natin sa trip meter, no? Na isang full tank, umaabot ako ng 416, so may 2 kilometers pa dyan, so sabihin mo 418, no? Um, this was right after I got back, mga one week after I got back from Sagada. So, nakita mo dito. Actually, when I got back from Sagada, medyo nagsimula yan sa 10. Ngayon, nasa 9. So, nakita mo bumababa na siya. No? Alright. And like I said, I was gonna summarize this. no So, I have the, this one, uh, just to explain my chart. This one is yung mga summary uh, na lumalabas bawat drive. Right? So, um, this one was like uh, two of the drives right before. So, nakita mo yung uh, average, yung lumalabas na score ko. Actually, ito lang medyo mabigat yung pa ako when I drive. So, you can see here, um, that ng score ko, never pa ako naka 100, right? I, I see in the forums and in the Facebook groups, um, shout out to Vela Society there, no? Um, May, may nakaka-100. Ako never pa ako nakaka-100, guys. No? Um, so, you can see here, here's my uh, average kilometers per liter. Right? Um, so, you can see dito, no? um, Las Piñas area, usually nagsimula nga. Like I said, kanina nagsimula ako with about 8 kilometers per liter. Um, and then, even though it was uphill, mostly uphill kasi ito, eh, guys. No? Um, so, you can see here, it went uh, uh, um it still went up, no? So nine, mga nine point two, nine point three, and then when I went back to Sagada to Las Piñas, it went up to ten, right? Um, so straight drive yan. So you can see here, these are the these are the heaviest drives, no? So you can see here, nag jump siya, ng whole point, right? From eight to nine, right? Because of this drive, and then another drive on the way back. Right, it went up another point, right? Of course, because um, we were on a highway, so you, you use less gas and you're moving faster, so it's easier for you to get a higher mileage. So that that would be very useful for the mga velos drivers that don't encounter a lot of traffic, like in Metro Manila, Metro Cebu, you know, Davao, Cagayan de Oro, the, the super traffic areas here in the Philippines, but in the the other areas, right? So if if you live up north, Tarlac and all of these stuff, you do a lot of long drives, no? I believe like uh, yung iba dyan, I, I'm pretty sure they'll hit about mga more than 10, right? For sure, more than 10 yan, no? But w if you're within the city, um, I'm pretty sure you'll hit the mga, katulad sa akin, mga 8 to 9, right? So here, this chart in the bottom, this is um, my chart naman for refueling, right? So I wanted to show you this to you. So I record this every single time na nagpapagas ako, okay? Um, so let me just explain the chart, right? So this range, right? This one is um, the range that shows in the middle portion, right? Uh, so I'll, sh I'll show you a picture here. And then this one is how much 
I've already um, drove, right? And then I will I will total this up. These two I will total this up here. This is my own computation. Oh, this is my own computation in, in this Excel sheet. My average kilometers per hour, which is different from what is displayed. Because this one, which is what is displayed here, this one is yung cumulative nyo. Ito yung average ng buong life ng kotse nyo. Here, I'm just computing for this single na area na nagpagas lang ako. Right? And then here, I'll show you also um, ano yung range after nagpa-full tank ako. Right? And then you can see here, uh, just for your reference also, magkano yung price per liter uh, and how much it cost me to make pagas. Right? So typically, uh, nagpapagas lang ako sa shell and then I just use fuel save gas. Okay? Um, so usually, um, yung full tank ko ranges anywhere between 2,200. Ito medyo mataas, no? You can see here, no? 2,000 2,500. Okay? So for all the new Velos buyers, this is roughly the amount that you're going to spend each time you make pa full tank. So, so you can see here, um, Let's go through my journey, no? Like I said, no? So you can see here, uh, nagpa-gas muna ako sa Las Piñas at 3 in the morning. Um, and then, ito, may ano pa ako, um, may laman pa yung tank ko, right? Uh, and I've only driven 26.5 kilometers since my last pagas, no? Pero syempre, magta-top up tayo dyan, right? So here, my computed uh, average per liter is 9.29 no so w however when we went up to l all the way to LU no like i showed you kanina so syempre uh, di ko naman sinasagad yung gas ko so i still had about 155 uh, kilometers left pero nakatakbo na ako ng 333 for a total of 488 so ito yung sinasabi ko uh, if puro highway driving kayo kayang-kaya talaga, abot talaga yung range ng velos natin ng mga 400, for more than 450 kilometers on a full tank, right? So you can see here, my computed average kilometers per liter is actually 12 kilometers per liter, no? Kaya umak umakyat yung um, display ko dito, yung sa mileage ko from from uh, 8 kilometers per liter to 9. And then, nagpagas kami ulit. Uh, ito, pabalik na kami ng Manila no nagpagas ako dito sa Rosario um, you can see here um, I still had about um, 351 no um, obviously nagpagas ako sa in between here di, di ko lang na di ko lang na record no um, so you can see here um, mga nasa 400 pa rin siya no um, and uh, unfortunately di ko na record yung na, nasa display ko right um now this is my first refuel after coming from Sagada, no? So you can see here, medyo nasagad ko, may two kilometers left, uh, with 416 kilometers left, no? I think I showed that in the video kanina, um, and you can see here, so maabot ng mga 10 kilometers, right? So nasa 9.9 .9 na tayo, uh, and then nagparefuel, ano ka wrong spelling no? Nagparefuel pa rin ako. Uh, somewhere in Batangas pero ito medyo may city driving na kasi ako eh so kaya medyo bumaba na talaga siya right uh, and then once again nagpa ito low fuel no kaya naging zero talaga dito on the range right pero naka 452 ako right kaya medyo yung yung average ko of 11 kaya medyo tumaas siya right pero you know from there, puro mga area ko lang ng Las Piñas, you can see here, no? Medyo nasa 300, right? Kung city driving ka, and you're like me na medyo mabigat yung pa ako sa gas, nasa 300 kilometers yung range ng full tank ng Velos, no? So, that, that more or less averages out down to mga 8, and then yung display average ko naging 9. Right, so guys, uh, once again, um, I hope this has helped you. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Um, once again, I cover more than just velos, no? Uh, lahat ng mga hili ko, mga computers, mga gadgets, mga ganon, right? 
Um, so please, if that's your interest, uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay? So once again, guys, um, sana nakatulong. Um, and I hope to do more stuff about the Velos. I am about to do another one on the top things that I bought for my Velos. Right? Uh, nasa, naka line up yan. I just haven't had the time to make it. No? Uh, I hope to also make a video on yung trip ko going up to Sagada and Atok as well. No? Um, so please um, follow me dito sa YouTube. Alright? Thanks guys. Bye!